can see, I'm wearing an old school Dice Tower shirt, 2017. Um, I decided to go old school. Every day I've been wearing different Dice Tower Con shirts. I usually do that every year because, you know, I want to promote all our years and show how long we've been doing this. Like I said, this year is our eighth year. And uh, next year will be year number nine. Can you believe we've already done eight of these and about to do our ninth? Uh, when this started, you would have never guessed how many Dice Tower Cons we've done, but it's been amazing, you know, having the fans, watching it grow, everything's been amazing. Looking forward to seeing how things go. But now I'm gonna go into the gaming area and see what's going on. So I will have coverage today. Um, the only thing we have, there's not much going on. Um, there was a flea market in the morning, but I didn't go since we did an auction instead. But the only real thing going on is our Kickstarter dinner tonight. So you can meet everyone who, you know, help support the show. You know, we thank you for that. And for now, just gaming all day. It's going to be a good day because I'm just going to relax and play games, which is very important. And uh, I want to play with as many of you guys as possible. So let's see how many people I can play with today. So this is the spirit of Dice Tower Con at its finest here. People decided to just, literally, you're outside here playing games on the sidewalk. This is amazing. Like, it's a, I know, it, you just didn't want to be in the loud room at the time, so you decided... Oh, it's too cold inside. I live in Florida. Yeah, so this is perfect, isn't it? Nice, intimate setting to play the reef. That's right. Love it. Love it so much. Are you guys enjoying the con? We're having a great time. Awesome. So this is my kind of game. Eric Lang told me that their new game, Foodies, which is coming out in about two weeks or so, he said, have you played Foodies? And I said, what? And he said, Foodies. I go, what? He goes, it's our new game. I go, it's about food? And he said, yes. I'm like... I need to play this. So here we are. I'm learning foodies. Um, and I don't know what the game's about, but I saw lots of food. Robert is going to be teaching the game. And I saw lots of food cards that, look at that, look at the back of that. That looks so good. Delicious meals. And uh, we have a whole table of people. Are you excited to learn this new game? I'm really excited. How about you guys over here? Excited to learn this new Definitely. game? Excellent, excellent. I don't enjoy shuffling square cards. Here we go. Foodies. And I'll tell you how amazing it is when we're done. Foodies is awesome. I'm really hungry right now, but I had a nice thing. You're gonna see my menu, but I went all American. It didn't quite work, but Foodies is amazing. You can see my restaurant. I serve lots of hamburgers, hot dogs, and ribs, but I did have some German food there and some pasta, some spaghetti, and some uh, Mexican um, tamales. But yeah, didn't quite work for the points, but an amazing game, <clears throat> foodies. I dig this one a lot. You all should go out and get it. This is an amazing game. Jace, I would like to point out that Jason came in last at this table. <laughs> last. <laughs> you can't win everything, but even if you don't win, if you have a good time, that's all Make that sure matters, take right? Back the that's stars. right? This is coming from win. the guy who won behind <laughs> me. But yes, but he did win. amazing game. I came in last time saying it's an amazing game, so you know it's an amazing game. Awesome. Foodies, awesome. Best game of 2020. <laughs> We're still in 2019. We'll be out in a couple weeks. But no, it's still Wingspan is the best game of 2019. Which I did say, Scott was there when I said it in 2018 at the Dice Tower Retreat. I said, Wingspan is going to be the game of 2019 back in 2018. And you were right. And I was right. Well, so far. So here we are, Point Salad. I think I played this game now like 40 or 50 times during the convention. It takes about... It says on the box 15 to 30 minutes. It's really short. Look at these gorgeous... These gorgeous foods, different different salad things. This is literally point salad. I, I want to say this game was inspired by Stefan Feld in some way, even though it's a card game, a, a light card game, but I've been playing with everyone. We've got a whole new group here. I've been trying to play this with as many people as possible. I think I've played it with about 150 people so far at this convention, because um, it holds six, so it's great. Five people at a time. Um, but here we go, another game of Point Salad. Well, Eric just showed up. Have you played Point Salad yet? I have played Point Salad yet, yes. i played it about 50 times. How about you? Uh, less than 50 times. <laughs> really? I've played it four times. I've played four times in a row because every time I finished, a new group would come over and say, hey, are you, are, are you getting ready to play? And I'd say, well, I guess I can stick around. You want me to teach you? And so we 
we played four in a row. That's what I've been doing. I, I think I played it. This is my favorite game at the convention. I played it so many times already. Really? And I've got to play with so many people. I meet so many people here at Dice Tower Con. It is probably the easiest way to meet a lot of people. Yes, it is. Yeah. And plus, Point Salad, Stefan Feld inspired game, as I'm calling it officially. Sure. <laughs> It's not, it's not designed by Stefan Feld, though. It's a totally different game. No, but if he did, that would have been really awesome. It's slightly lighter than Feld. Yes. Anyway, time to play the game. Yes. Well, we just played Ticket to Ride London. This is another one like the New York at the short map. What did you guys think? Did you enjoy the game? Oh, well, yeah. Great. Yeah. Especially since I won. I didn't. Came in third, but it's nice. It's a nice short one. Takes about 15 minutes also. It's these little short boxes of these Ticket to Ride games I think are very good. What do you guys think about them? I like it better than regular Ticket to Ride. It's the right amount of Ticket to Ride. Yep. And this one, since it's in London, we could actually sing the song. She's got a Ticket to Ride. Actually, she's got the Ticket to Ride in this one. <laughs> um, so did you enjoy it too? Yeah, I love it. Yes, it's a great game. So this was one of my favorite games at the gathering, Hadar, which we got at the gathering. And it's here at the Hot Games table. I don't know if it's out in stores yet or not, but we have it here at the Hot Games. And I'm about to teach everyone we're going to play a game of Hodar. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So I'm here with Liz and Chappie, and we just finished Hadar. Did you guys have a good time? We had a really good time. Had a and phenomenal other time. than the fact that you beat me tremendously, it was great. Well, sometimes I win. <laughs> Can't help it. But I just want to say, you guys are what we're going to call batting for the cycle, because Earlier in the year, you went to Dice Tower West. That's right. Correct? That's right. You're here at Dice Tower Con. Oh, that's fantastic. Yep. Then I hear you're coming to the retreat in September. We yep. are. Very yep. excited. And you were on the cruise back in January, yes, weren't you? Yes, that's correct. how we got So you're started. hitting you for the up. cycle. Yeah. You, the, was that the first thing you've ever done with the cruise this year? Yes, yep. it was. Very and now you've come to every one of our events? That yep. is how good Dice Tower is. I love you guys. Well, I we mean, love you. This is awesome. They're batting for the cycle. I don't know if anyone else out there has gone to all four events in one year, but they did it all. The cruise first, Dice Tower West, Dice Tower Con, and they're going to be at the retreat. Then they're going to be back on the cruise in January. Oh, heck yeah. We, can't, we yeah. can't miss it now. This is amazing. Uh, other than like us on the staff, me, Tom, and them, I, I think you're the first people who told me they've gone to every one of our events Ooh, I'm sure in the same others, year. But I, I wanted something. Right. I, I'm going to figure out some sort of award that we might give you at the retreat. We're going to figure out something we're going to do for you at the retreat because you, you guys have now batted for the cycle oh, of Jason. Dice Terror events. It's fantastic. Everybody should come do this. It's Absolutely. wonderful. Absolutely. If you're thinking about a great gaming convention, any of those four, you can't be upset. Exactly. So here we are getting ready for our Kickstarter dinner. This is our famous dinner with our backers who uh, come with us for Ohana. And we're very excited to have the backers this year. Um, Emerson is one of our backers. Even though he designs games for us for Dice Tower Essential, he's also a backer, which we absolutely love. Amazing. So here we are at Ohana, or at the Polynesian Resort. This is our favorite place. Um, we're all walking in. Look at how beautiful it is here. I love Disney, and I love this. And it's a great evening of tiki torches, Polynesian food, and everything. Everyone's walking in. There's Emerson, Sonia Lang, Eric Lang, Mandy you can see from behind there. And the rest of our gang is up in front. And we are very excited for this amazing, amazing experience at the Polynesian here. Well, we are about to take a monorail ride around the Magic Kingdom Resort. This should be a lot of fun. And then we're gonna have dinner, so Monorail time. Let's see who's here for the monorail ride. Eric's here for the monorail ride. Are you excited? Nope. For those who want to know into Eric's deep thoughts, you now saw in his eyes to see the deep thoughts that he has about game design. All right, guys. So Mandy's joining us on the monorail. Have you ever been on a monorail? I have, just not the Disney monorail. <laughs> Which one have you been on? Um, okay, I didn't know this was going to be a pop quiz. Uh, somewhere in the States. <laughs> but now you're going to get to do the Disney one, which is even cooler. We go through a hotel in the middle of this. Surprises to come. So, here we are. We're at the Magic Kingdom. Well, as soon as the monorail goes by, look how amazing the Magic Kingdom looks today. 
There's Cinderella's castle in the background. It's a little wet out, but we're taking the monorail. We're about to go into the Contemporary Resort. So this will be exciting for you to see what happens when you go through the Contemporary Resort. Oh, and look, there's Tomorrowland behind there. Um, we'll get a better view of it as we round this corner here. But Space Mountain, you can see it right there. There's Space Mountain. What a great looking building and um, it looks like there's some interesting construction on Space Mountain right about now. Um, don't know what they're doing but it's a very interesting thing that's going on here. I love Disney and what a fun night. So as we round the corner here, we're about to go into the Contemporary Hotel. You can see the Contemporary Hotel. Well, this is part of it, but here we go. Into the Contemporary. The most exciting part of this journey. We literally go through the hotel. And here we come. I think we're entering it right about now. Look at this. Look at this view. This is the coolest part of taking the monorail is going through the Contemporary Resort. We are entering a hotel while riding on a monorail. You don't see that anywhere else in the world but Disney, at least as far as I know. And now we're inside the hotel. Look at this. There's the giant Mickey ears for Chef Mickey's restaurant. And here we are, station stop, and look at this great hotel. So like I said, we're here at the Contemporary. Look how awesome it looks. And we're about to go out of it and go back to the Polynesian to have our amazing dinner. But I love this hotel. I love monorails and love Disney. Okay, here we are. I'm about to get a pineapple drink. He's making it a pineapple. This friggin', this this friggin drink's probably gonna cost like 35 bucks. For you, Jason, for you. Thank you so what much. What do I get? You, you're getting publicity on my vlog for this. Yeah, it's not, no. no Several no, views. No, Several. Several. At least. Several views. How many? Three to five views. Seven, maybe. And you can see them making the pineapple in the background. What's really awesome. I've got the double shot. There's the pineapple being made. Okay. Look who got me a pineapple. Uh, th this is the cool. No, no. This is my pineapple drink. I know it's your pineapple drink. But I bought this drink, so I have to taste this. Is it good? Let me taste it, too. It's pretty good. Oh, it's good. It really is. I mean... We're at the Polynesian. We've got drinks and pineapples. Wait a minute. Get... What else could we see? You want to taste it too? Oh, yes. Pineapple drink? No, you filthy animals. It's, uh, this is, this is living life. Pineapple drinks at the Polynesian. we got fireworks. It's awesome. We've got amazing food coming. I hate this guy, this but... This is going to be a good day. You know you love me. I do. I love you too. Come on the BGG cruise. Or the Dice Tower cruise. Come on the, the Dice cruises. Tower cruise. All the cruises. All the cruises. Come on the Dice Tower cruise. All right. Take care. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Well, here we are in Ohana. We're entering the restaurant. Here's Eric. Here's oh my everyone. God. I'm starving. And I'm starving and Jason's vlogging. Tom is starving, as you heard. But we're entering the restaurant Ohana. And this is going to be amazing. Um, Tom's starving, but I'm excited. And I love the food here. This is some of the best food. Look at this bread, the cocoa bread. I see ice cream. I see cocoa bread, lots of it. And I see the amazing restaurant. This is all Spitfire Grill. They cook all these things on these giant grills. So look at this. Look at their cooking here. It's pretty awesome what they do back here. Some amazing grilling. Look at that. I absolutely love what they do in this restaurant. Now let's walk around and see where our table is. Here, I'm joining our group again. And here we are. We're going to a nice table kind of in the corner. So we're all going to sit and enjoy our meal. And here's the fireworks at Disney. Moana going off. We just saw some fireworks that look like dice. Hopefully yeah. there's another one that comes off here so I can show you guys dice fireworks. There you go, look at that. Fireworks that look like dice. That is pretty cool. This is amazing. These fireworks are great.
And those are the amazing fireworks. So I'm here at the Pineapple Lanai about to order Dole Whips. I've got a tray here because we're going to have, I'm going to bring them up to the restaurant where we are, but we're or, about to order 15 Dole Whips for everyone in the Dole Whip stand. So excited for these. And then I'm going to get back up to finish dinner. But we had fireworks, we're having Dole Whips for dessert. What a good day it's been here at the Polynesian at Ohana. Amazing day at Disney. We love our Kickstarter backers. Thank you guys, the six of you who backed us. And we're having an amazing time. You know, without you guys, without the fans, we would be nothing. So thank you so much for all the support for everything. And these Dole Whips are on me. Hold on, let me get, let me get my Dole Whip. I was about to say, we're eating Dole Whips, all of us. I did order 15 of them for, the, for everyone. I only had one. How was your experience of Dole Whip? First time, it was great. I know. This is why I tell everyone, no matter what, we have to have Dole Whips when we come here. I agree with that. Next See, time I'm here. Tom said he doesn't like these, but we're going to get Tom converted into a Dole Whip fanatic. I, I sent one to him. He sent half of it back to me. So I actually had one and a half Dole Whips. But, you know, this is just a little extra thank you for you guys because you guys do so much, you know, to have your support. Ready the Kickstarter dessert? backers is what enables to do what we do. So we're super thankful for everything. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. So I just need to show everyone here. Look at these Rice Krispie treats. They have Mickey head sprinkles on them. These things are completely awesome. Jason, what are you I am doing? I'm so excited. Okay, Emerson that is a here. Trade secret, Emerson man. here didn't what try one of them. Wait, Emerson. Emerson hates yes, Did you eat one? I did. Did house. you notice there were Mickey sprinkles in them? Yes. Were you, did you it's, like them? It's kind of yes, hard to miss, good. dude. I know. I just, no, the light's a little blinding. I know. Did it's you like, enjoy the experience? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your mother. Yeah, no. <laughs> Jason, it feels like you're interrogating me. Yeah, right? right? Did you eat the Mickey sprinkles? I did. I did. I swear. <laughs> I swear I did. How about you, Crystal? I'm enjoying the Mickey sprinkles, Jason. Awesome. They are awesome. Yes, they're delicious. Jason, what's in the Dole Whip? <laughs> Just Dole Whip. It's Dole it's Whip, trade, man. It's a trade secret. Dole. It's like Emerson. Dole Whip. What was the inspiration behind your game? That's a trade secret. That's no, it's Dole Whip. Dole Whip. <laughs> Dole Whip. <laughs> they're cool. Let's ask Crystal, who's a Disney fan also. Are they cooler with the Mickey sprinkles? No, in fact, I actually prefer my Rice Krispie treats to be completely plain. What? No. Why? Sorry. Sorry, I'm back on this. Crystal's wrong. No. Rice Krispie treats are better with sprinkles. No, if you make a really good Rice Krispie treat, just butter and marshmallow and the Rice Krispies, that's the perfect Rice Krispie treat. Sprinkles are the best. I vote for Mickey sprinkles. I mean, come on, I like rainbow, but sometimes sprinkles are too much. No, you're wrong. Crystal, your, your view is now So instead of the Tom is there. wrong segment, this is going to be Crystal is wrong. Crystal is wrong. <laughs> when it comes to food, Crystal is wrong. Okay, no, that, that's a big generic statement that does not necessarily apply. I have some very good food opinions. Uh, invalidated by the sprinkle thing. <laughs> Correct. So anyway, I'm we're very glad that you're vlogging today, Jason, because I did not vlog today pretty much at all. I, I vlog every day. I, so, well, I typically do, and my vlog is going to be pretty lacking for this day. But mine's going to be amazing because we're going to we're going to do our group photo now. Yeah, we are. So, so this we're going to turn off the exciting. vlog. So here we go, getting ready. I'm going to show everyone the group. <laughs> And oh wait, let's ask Bonacor. Oh. Did you like the Mickey sprinkles on the rice right, crispy? Oh, that was treats? amazing. There oh, you yeah. go. Crystal is now invalidated. She said you shouldn't have sprinkles on rice crispy treats. It was pretty good. Was I know. I know. She's a purist. Hey everybody. I heard her talking about the sprinkles here. Did you like the sprinkles? I like the sprinkles so much. They were my favorite thing that I've ever had at Dice Tower Con. I wish I could eat sprinkles all the time. I know. If if I died eating sprinkles, it would be a good death. That's because you really are a foodie. And I don't just mean that because you put out a game called Foodies, but you are a foodie. We have to take a picture of Jason Levine. We're going to go take Goodbye. our group picture. Group picture time, everyone. So everyone's lining up for the group picture, and I'm about to jump into it. But here's our group picture. <laughs> here's our group picture. Are we ready for it, Tom? Here's our group video. <laughs> so here we are. We are about to play Era Matt Leacock's new game coming out from Plan B. Here's Mike from Plan B who's opening it up. Um, I'm very excited about this one. Matt showed it to us, showed it to me about a year and a half ago at the gathering, and it didn't look quite as nice as this in his prototype form. So I'm very excited to see the final product. But Era, this is going to be our first chance. I've got Mandy over here. 
Let's try to sort. We've five got buildings. Mike. We've got Dave, one of Mike's friends, and we've got Crystal. So we can give you the early, early, early review of this game after we play it. So what did you think about the game? I really liked it. I think uh, I do enjoy spatial puzzles, and this definitely has an element of that. But it also has the interesting thing where you're trying to manipulate um, what dice you per acquire, and then how you use your rerolls to acquire resources and build buildings. Um, I will say the aesthetic of the game, not my favorite. The kind of bland uh, color palette isn't really that appealing to me, but the physical aspect of the boards themselves, the chunky plastic pieces that all fit into one another, this feels really nice tactically, so I can forgive the bad aesthetic. Um, I definitely want to play it more now that I know more about how like some of the advanced buildings work. I think uh, it would be even more interesting on future plays, but uh, I know that they're going to have this at Gen Con, and I'm already pretty interested in it, so. Well, I feel the same way. I mean, I absolutely loved, you know, Roll Through the Ages, Roll Through the Ages of Bronze Age, and he took what was a simple game and made it into a city building version of the game and made it phenomenal. I had a nice, just like Crystal, I had a nice little city here. As you can see, there's my city at the end. Um, but the interesting thing about this game is that it takes the mechanics from Roll Through the Ages but turns it into a deeper, deeper game and a really, really good game. And I'm really glad that Matt expanded on his universe on the the role universe and made this because it's a really really good game and I highly highly recommend it look for it at Gen Con it's coming out there and era is awesome well the night's over we had a good time we had a good Kickstarter dinner we had a good um, game playing I got to play a whole bunch of games that you saw today as usual we have one more day we are going to wrap up the convention here See everyone for the last day of Dice Tower Con 2019. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.